Okay, let's talk about some basic math foundations that every adult should have. Now you can see here I have some problems and uh, hopefully you can do these problems uh, by memory. Uh, if you can't, don't panic. I'm going to talk to you about how you can improve your basic math skills. But you know, uh, the things I'm going to be talking about is like multiplication, division, fractions, and dealing with positive and negative numbers. So um, at a minimum, you know, it's my belief that every adult should have at least, you know, a pretty basic math uh, toolkit. Now, uh, once you have these basic uh, math skills, one, you'll be able to solve, you know, practical uh, problems that you might encounter. Two, uh, you'll be able to understand, you know, I think uh, the world around you better because, you know, there's so much information and data out there. The more math you know, the better you can kind of interpret things. But uh, three, if you want to continue your math education and really get into uh, subjects like algebra, you can definitely uh, do that. And uh, I want to mention right off the bat that I just created a uh, math foundations course that's going to cover these basics I want to be talking about. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And um, I'm going to leave again my link to my math help program and uh, a link to uh, my uh, new Math Foundations course if you're interested in reviewing basic math skills. But, but effectively, my program, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you happen to be studying any of those courses, I could definitely help you prepare and pass those courses if you're taking any exam that has math on it. So for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACUPLACE, or ALEX exam, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you, help you uh, prepare and pass those exams. Um, of course, um, each one of those exams that I uh, have, uh, as I said, has a math section. So somebody thinks math is pretty important. If you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum. And if you don't have any math notes, don't stress out. I have math notes that uh, you can use. I'll leave uh, links to those notes in the description of this video as well. But you need to start taking uh, effective math notes. This is really the secret to being successful in mathematics. So let's get into um, basic math skills that every adult should have. And I'm just going to kind of give you a quick summary of uh, things that I teach in this uh, basics uh uh, math foundation course that uh, I just constructed. But let's just kind of start over here. And the first thing is number operations. Everybody should be able to have basic arithmetic skills. You should be able to add numbers, subtract, all without the aid of a calculator. Now, you should know how to use a calculator as well, but I'm talking about good old-fashioned arithmetic, pencil and paper. If I gave you 203 and I said multiply that by 14, in other words, do a problem like that or give you a, like a division problem, 6 into 37, go ahead and do that and give me the remainder. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. So basic number operations, adding, subtracting, multiplication, and division. All right. Again, arithmetic, things that we learned way back in um, you know uh, elementary school. But the further we get away from elementary school and basic math, and the more dependent we get on calculators, um, these skills get rusty. But it's uh, really critical that you still know how to uh, do this, uh, do these basic number operations, because this stuff is also in algebra. Okay, so the next thing I would uh, say is place value. Okay, so what am I talking about there? So if I look at a decimal, 21.3. We're talking about the tenths place and understanding decimals and place value. This is very important. Uh, so, you know, when you see a decimal, you understand what place value that represents, etc. So that's what place value is. And that leads us into decimals. Okay, so uh, now that when I was talking about number operations, I'm talking about basic whole numbers. You know, for example, 114 times 3. But what about 114.7 times 3.2? Well, that's decimals, okay? So you gotta need to know how to do number operations with decimals. This is a little bit trickier, and that's why you wanna kinda go in this particular order. Uh, so, you know, a lot of us kinda remember that, and we're like, oh, boy, I remember doing decimals, you know? Uh, and I would say today, okay, it's, you know, you need to know this stuff. But if you had a calculator handy, you should be able to just use your calculator. Don't feel guilty about using your calculator. However, don't uh, think that your calculator is a substitute with, uh, for you not knowing how to do this by ha uh, hand basic arithmetic. Okay, It's still very important that you can still do this stuff. 
All right, that leads us to our next uh, basic math topic, and that is fractions, okay? Fractions, critical. Most people do not know fractions as well as they think. Of course, if I give them a simple problem, one half plus three halves, they can go, oh, I can do that, no problem at all. But if I give you a much more challenging fraction, then it gets more interesting, okay? Most people uh, can't tell me exactly how you find the LCD. If I give you, again, one third plus uh, two fifths, most of you could be like, oh, the LCD is uh, 15, and you'd be correct. But how about 32 and 504? If those were the denominators, uh, this would be much more challenging to find the LCD. So again, all these things that uh, you know you want to know is not just the basic stuff. Don't get a false sense of confidence. Be like, oh, I can handle fractions because I could do problems like this. But what about a problem like that? Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, really upping your basic foundational math skills. All right, so fractions are very, very important. Again, with fractions, you're going to be doing number operations. The number operations with fractions, you need to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Now, I want to say one thing. I um, cover a lot of this stuff informally in my YouTube channel, in my pre-algebra playlist. So I have tons of videos on, on this kind of stuff, but uh, this Math Foundations course is more formal, uh, full kind of instruction on this. But let's continue on. The next thing um, I would say is like the order of operations. This is this little acronym PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. Uh, now, some there's an old saying that says, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, but uh, this means something. And what it means is how we deal with a uh, number or a um, numeric expression. So, for example, if I had 2 times 7 minus uh, 10 divided by 3 uh, over let's say six minus eight squared, okay? I have a lot of different things going on here. I have multiplication, subtraction, division, subtraction, and a power and division. So what is the order I do this problem? Because I can do, um, I can do these number operations in various orders. I could subtract here, for example, first, or maybe I can divide first, or right? maybe I can do multiplication first. So the way the order Okay, you do this, a particular problem is going to uh, directly affect whether the problem, uh, the solution is right or wrong. Okay, this is very, very important order of operations. And that will bring me to the last thing I'm going to talk about, and that is positive and negative numbers. Okay, so we can have positive and negative numbers. You can have positive and negative decimals. You can have positive and negative fractions. Okay, and then you can pull those all together and some big numeric expression. So you're going to be doing the order of operations with, you know, you can have positive and negative fractions, decimals, all kind of, you know, uh, put into one big pot. So you got to know uh, how to, the rules of positive and negative numbers, how to add or subtract, multiply and divide positive and negative numbers. So for example, now let's do something real quick down here. If I said negative seven times a positive two, well, this is multiplication. The answer is a negative 14, right? A negative times a positive is a negative. So all these rules, I would say this right here would give, um, if somebody knew this, all right, a particular adult was reviewing mathematics, if you understood all of this really, really well, then you have a real strong foundational uh, kind of math uh, toolkit to build upon, okay? One, you're going to be, I think, um, it's just life is going to be easier for you. You're going to be able to understand, um, you know, the information around you. And by the way, in this particular math course that I have, this math foundation course, I go into other uh, subjects as well, like Venn diagrams, percent, um, a couple other stuff. Really, the, uh, the purpose of this course that I've created is to cover, to strengthen your foundations, one, okay, because a lot of these things that I'm talking about are also classic weak areas for math students. Okay, so when students are, let's say, in an algebra course and are having difficulty, what I've found over decades of teaching mathematics is they're still a little shaky on fractions. They don't understand order of operations as well as they think they do. Um, they still make mistakes with the positive and negative numbers. So if you have any intention on taking uh, any kind of algebra course, you know, if you strengthen or you really master all these skills, everything is going to be much, much smoother from there. Okay, so that's my little take on basic math foundations. Whether you continue, continue your math um, education beyond this level, 
that's totally up to you. But if you were able to really truly master all these uh, skills that I talked about, now I'll tell you, that's pretty good. Okay, there's a lot of uh, students in you know algebra that don't even have those skills mastered. So again, if you're interested and really kind of upping your basic math skills, uh, you might want to check out my Math Foundations course. All right, so a um, couple things here. One, if you like this video in some small way, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully uh, you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos basic to advanced mathematics, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.